Please, having a strategy is not a bad thing in itself because this is a competition we are talking about. It has to be won by the strongest person. So each person will want to pick up a strategy that will, you know, magnify their strength and minimize their weakness. So people shouldn't be judgmental as to who and who has the strategy or not. So having a strategy is a very good thing. So people should relax and chill with it. After all, it is a game show and entertainment show. So just relax. How possible is it for 22 to 25 people coming to a reality TV show and being themselves, like being their complete natural self from beginning to the end, like from start to finish? being themselves how possible is it well if you ask me i don't think it's possible it's not possible hi welcome back to another edition of your favorite channel right with Tino. and if you're new here my name is atinoke mati sugar so in today's video i'm going to be discussing like some strategies or let me say strategies of few of your favorites yes i said a few of your favorites of the bb ninja season six shine your eye edition number six number six on my list is boma okay i'm sure boma is few people's fave let me see so boma is this actor guy and i feel his strategy in the game he wants to play the cool guy so bad that all the girls are in love with him because if you watch most of his conversation he's either talking about oh i think this girl is into me i think this i think that but he's shining through the acting task proving himself as an actor so let's see how that will take him far into this 90 million naira game we're talking about then number five on my list is cross initially when cross came in i didn't really understand him i found him like you know the always tipsy guy but now i've come to understand cross is this kind of let me just say vibes vibes will describe him and i think that's a strategy just to take everything easy as, as it is you know and he's the kind of player guy that naturally girls are just drawn towards him because of his flirtatious behavior and let me say it's quite appealing to the opposite gender that is why someone said cross is for the girls i think one housemate said that and then i will be talking about number four oh, angel mm, angel let me just say we finished talking about cross right okay angel angel is the player girl i think that's her strategy yeah forget the fact that she wears slutty dresses like she will always say i think her strategy is just to, like be the cool player girl that will be the every guy like not in a very bad way but in a flirtatious kind of you know appealing female part yeah and i think most of the guys find her quite attractive so that is a strategy that i think i figured out and then number three maria yeah maria you know when maria came in she has this um let me say star power i would say that because of her looks and appearance many people were drawn to her yeah but i feel her strategy initially was to be the player girl that's what i think because if you watch her video she said she was gonna make all the guys fall in love with her i don't know how that is working really for her as they've gone you know kind of far into the game but she has tried because she was introduced as a wild cat and ever since she's been on top of her game and i think she just want to play it cool with her housemates now so let's see how her strategy is going to help her oh my god licorice how can i forget licorice well don't tell me you don't know licorice's strategy already of course her strategy is dancing she is a very beautiful female and she is a renowned dancer and she doesn't miss the chance and the opportunity to show us her great dancing skills so let's just hope she dances her way into the 90 million naira she's a good one to watch also and number two para yeah i'm sure a lot of people are waiting for this number para I feel Per wants to be the cool player guy because he professed his feelings to some of the house and I think he was with Beatrice at a point, Maria and um, he was cool, he's cool with some of the ladies and some of the ladies um, find him quite a heck. 
So I feel Pere wants to be the shinier eye housemate because he feels that other housemates are probably, you know, not thinking about the 90 million or maybe some of them are dumb according to his word. I kind of like the guy too because he's been challenging white money who he feels he has figured out his strategy. So I feel Pere's strategy would be to be the cool guy and to be the guy that, you know, figures out everyone's move. He said he was a US military person, so I won't be surprised with some of his moves. And a lot of people are already singling out pair to be white money's villain, trying to play the villain in white money's game. But come on, it is a game, and this is a huge prize at stake. So let's cut him some slack. Then, number one, yeah, white money. White money. Well, why did I why did I put white money <laughs> as number one? I don't know, but I kind of feel like money strategy would be the um I don't I don't know how to put it. I'm looking for a word. Can I say caretaker vibes? Because he has been cooking a lot for the housemate. That was why um housemate parent was able to singular that okay, I can see this is your strategy and I'm going to mess up your strategy. I think his strategy is to just play this guy that wants to take care of everyone. That is why he's mostly in the kitchen cooking for them. But come on, it's not a bad thing if it is a strategy. But I don't think he's faking, you know, knowing how to cook or caring for people. But I think that that would be his strength too. That would take him closer and closer and closer to the money. It kind of seems like he has very, very strong chances of winning. Trust Nigerians. So I think white money strategy will just be the guy that, you know, has figured out what to do. Because like he said, the audition about four times. That guy is very, very strategic. Like I would give it to him. So should we make it a battle between Perry and white money? Who is in, who is out, who is going to win? But I have only one thing to say. May the best man win. So thank you for watching today's video. If you have comments as to who and whose strategy you think you figured out, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please you can drop it in the comment section. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next video, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.